Good morning everyone. So a couple of days ago Bjorn Nieland actually created a video where he measured the uh, whole steering wheel intervals on his uh, Autopilot 1 Model X V90D Ludicrous Founders Edition. That's a mouthful. So yeah, now that I have Autopilot 2 I thought it would be a good idea to make a comparison video uh, because I do get the feeling that Bjorn was able to get like three minutes intervals. Um, I don't think that's possible with Autopilot 2 from uh, my experience. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's what. I'm going to stay in the same lane. Hopefully traffic is not too bad and then we'll see what the interval is. So it's the end of the work day for me and now I'm going back the same way, just the opposite direction and the only thing uh, that I need to do now is just get past these trucks to make sure that I don't get stuck behind them all the way and then I'll activate autopilot again and once I've done that I'll stick to the middle lane again. It's raining a little bit, but it shouldn't have that much of an effect on, uh, on autopilot. Um, so yeah, let's hope that traffic is not too bad. Uh, so we get some decent measurements of autopilot behavior in both directions. Right, so coming up to that bridge, only 90 kilometers an hour allowed. And we move to the other lane, right here, and I'll activate autopilot as soon as it becomes available. Here we go. And let's see what's what. Thank you. 
think this is a pretty good test uh, this section because I had some time that I did 90 I did some time around 100 and the last part was around 120 so yeah in essence um, that gives me some data points to see if there's any change that's related to the speed so maybe if you go at a slower speed it takes longer than at a higher speed before you get the uh, the infamous nag so yeah that's that's something that I'll have to look at um, when I see the video when I re uh, when I review the video but yeah let's see uh, what the data says now that I reviewed the video and the footage and I looked at the data I get some pretty consistent numbers for autopilot 2 so Bjorn was able to get at highway speeds like 3 minute intervals I'm getting a pretty consistent 1 minute and 3 seconds interval so I got one time uh, in the morning run where I had 2 minutes but that was in traffic jam so if you go slow and you're in traffic then I believe it goes up to 3 minutes uh, maximum should test that probably uh, in a real traffic jam situation but as you go slower like below 50 60 maybe um, the interval gets longer but as you go on highway speeds I mean the, the last run is pretty much highway speed 90 between 90 and 120 kilometers an hour and that's a pretty consistent one minute and three second interval as soon as we move towards uh, full self drive then that will gradually go away and the more Tesla gets confident in their own system because autopilot one was a mobile eye system or is still a mobile eye system whereas autopilot two is a Tesla proprietary system um, so I guess they don't feel confident enough to loosen the reins um, a little bit but yeah so there you have the result and it's pretty consistent so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time